All right, y'all. It's 2023, and I'm, I'm finally here. No more 2022 whatsoever, all right? And we have tons of packages to go through. One thing I really want to focus in on moving into 2023 is clothing pickups, discussion videos on various topics in the sneaker world, and also going after the underrated things. And at the same time, we're going to get hype beastie and our general bricks whatsoever. And I will also try to make at my best each and every video segmented so you guys can click to what chapters you want to see in the video. Maybe you don't want to see the clothing part. Maybe you want to get straight to the shoes. I'm going to try to make sure to do that in each and every video moving forward. So to begin this video off, I want to go through everything that Represent Clothing has sent over to your boy. It's definitely one of my top brands right now in my clothing arsenal, in my wardrobe, a wardrobe that I'm switching up throughout the whole entire year and getting rid of a lot of old stuff and getting in the new stuff that you guys also can pick up yourself checking out the links down below in the description for represent clothing as well as the items that i will be selling on my upcoming whatnot this upcoming friday so check out the links down below first things first let's get this one out the way this seems like a like a shoe or something because of the way that the box is oriented oh maybe it's not whoa so they sent over a whole holiday season of gifts for your boy represent clothing water bottle and this is a 1.2 liter bottle which is not bad whatsoever i've been going heavy on drinking my water lately so not bad at all and it's actually a nice little tactical look going on with it also we have some represent clothing socks in all black with the embroidery going on on the ankle here real nice and dandy socks in the building we got some lollipops in the building as well okay and we got a little card merry christmas wishing you a happy and magical christmas and new year we hope to bring you lots of joy and happiness team rep x salute to y'all man and this is just the beginning. Some more candy canes, some more little holiday spirit. Oh, we're a little too late for that, but we'll have it on for next year, a little ornament. I was supposed to have then gotten this video out for y'all, but the thing was, more and more packages just kept coming through to the point where I just did not know when to stop, and I wanted to get everything in one big video. And we have here an owner's club represent being in full effect. I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy on. And like I said, guys, anything that is available on their website, I will make sure to link it down below. Check it out. We got some, I don't wanna, yeah, I don't wanna go in too deep. Did I cut? Oh man, I got real lucky with that one. I got real lucky with that last cut. This is the Puffa Parka, and this is in real down feather. Got me a parka on deck, Puffer. You know, real down feather in the building. High quality gear, you feel me, you feel me? Check out that. A little bit of realness, real down to make sure everything's good. You feel me? Gonna keep your boy real comfy. Unfortunately, right now in Georgia, the weather is uh, it's horrific. It's just, it doesn't know what it wants to be cold one minute or hot, but to each his own. Next up, I had went and picked up the black straight sweatpants. These are real straight legged, real heavy duty though at the same time. Just something, you know, to be more casual in, kind of like what I got on right now when I'm just vibing, chilling. I can still step out with this because it's very easy sleek. And uh, this is nice overall. Real heavy duty though when it comes to the cotton. The material is a heavy duty material. It's not like something real cheapo or anything like that. It is more though straight legged, so it's not gonna be as tapered as I normally rock. But for certain shoes out there, I'm starting to realize that tapered is just too small when you want to cover or have some sort of cover over some of these shoes out here. The trends, they're just moving around right now. This is their Feel the Heat t-shirt, and this is also in a size medium. A lot of stuff I'm getting is size medium alongside with 34 in the waist, because that's what I rock, and they pretty much do a great job at their sizing. This is more boxy. It's not really a long and slim, it's more boxy cut. So just know that you're gonna have a more wider look, a more vintage style look, something that I prefer. And when you go into that, things fit a little bit more looser and I would say more true to size. This is the straight leg denim in all black. Another pair of straight legs that I just wanted to get my hands on as I have plenty of tapered already. I wanted to go for more of a straight look for certain type of styles and shoes. I'm liking the more flare jeans here and there, the more, you know, straight legged jeans here and there. However, it is something that you gotta rock the right way. You don't want it to look like damn bell bottoms, you feel me? This is the Spirit Reaper tee, very close in color to that of the Feel the Heat. It's pretty much more like a tan, this is more of like a gray. They're very close, so you really can't tell the difference. The artwork on here and the printing is very excellent. It's almost like a sublimation. It's more so in the threading, more so than like an actual print on top, which is good and provides enough breathability to actually feel good and um, you know look good. This is the Love Hunter tee, and it has that washed out effect on there. 
gives that old school comic, you know, type of vibes going there. Love Hunter, the Cobra, checking out the woman and uh, there's some breasts there, so kids uh, watch out. Print on this one is nice as well. A little bit different as far as how it feels. You can actually feel the texture more on black because black usually has that type of effect when you're rocking print on it. But I love the washed out on the top and bottom more so in the middle still kind of being more, you know, more color, but it's still like an overall washed out type of look. A little vintage vibes going on. These are the blank sweatpants in the Dusk colorway. And these have more of that tapered look. Another pair of sweatpants that I wanted to add in. As we had some straight legs, I wanted to add something that's a little bit more tapered with the bungee as well. Versatility means everything. And I just wanted a brand new fresh lineup of gear and sweatpants. Unfortunately, you know, not to sound lazy, but they work. I mean, they work for comfort, they work for casual, and they work for even dressing like full out. Like you can go out and I mean, it is what it is. Full designer fits with sweatpants. It is what it is. Here we have the Terrier Tension hoodie. Check it out. I actually own the other one, which is like a Black Panther type of hoodie. I like the hoodie style a lot. Very similar, same type of overall, I would say, design hoodie as the previous one, weight-wise, wash-wise. Just a difference in basically the design on there. And these hoodies also are extremely heavy, very well presented, bagging and all that. Quality is superb, you know? And this is all an overseas brand, by the way, to some of y'all that may not know. And then we got here our little owner's club, once again, that they sent over. And this was another part of the whole entire just Christmas gifts. This is just them saying a huge thank you to being a part of the team. And one right here, we have the Represent Scarf. I don't know if they're selling this on their website or not, but if so, it will be linked down below. You know, I got my scarf on deck if I really want to get out here in the streets. You know, we also got another beanie. This one is in black and it says wool on it. So this one might be, got the basketball in full effect. Yeah, uh, sorry, I just realized my mic was underneath my scarf, but hopefully you guys can hear. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't hear. But uh, yeah, basketball, owners, I can't palm it, but owners club. And last but not least, Got some kicks in the building. These are the leather black and brown ascenders. I wonder, did I pick these? Or are these some brand new ones? I feel like I did pick these up. Whoa, these them ant bed stompers right there. I can't lie though, these are nice. These are definitely something I can rock during the winter season. This is coming back around for next year. The quality on this is A1 steak sauce though. Very nice type of almost like nylon upper mesh. Quality leather on the tongue, represent on the inside the chunky midsole, A1. I actually owned something very similar to these that had came out a couple years ago were some Pumas, but these definitely are going on feet during this rest of this year. If I'm stepping out and it's raining or whatever, these are like indestructible, winterized all for me. And I actually like how these are looking. I'm not gonna cap to you. Really what kilt and set it off for me, cause they're all white or all black, they'd be cool. But that brown made A1 for me. So huge salutes once again to represent for sending all this out, man. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is a pretty hefty little collection piece right here. I ain't gonna lie. And then last but not least, we picked these up right here, man. These, in my opinion, probably are one of the weakest Travis Scott releases ever. You feel me? Um, there's been a lot of the Travis Scotts that have released from the Jordan 4, Euler, Houston, Travis Scott, those joints right there, the ones, the sixes, the Air Force ones, there's about three different colorways of those. Then recently we got the, mo the, the, the other colorways in the Jordan ones, the low top in the Jordan ones. And then recently we got these boys right here. And these are the Jordan 1 low Travis Scott Phantoms. Bam! Yeah, man. Um, the bandana's cool. The presentation is, 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 for the most part, is all right. You know, you got two bandanas on your sneaker in all black. Can I be honest a little bit, though? I was going to bash these a little bit more than I was, but these are my first time actually seeing these in hand. And I actually saw pictures. They've been downstairs, like, just waiting on me for a couple of days now. And for the most part, I just haven't went through and actually did any looking at them. They're not that bad, but these were definitely, in my opinion, when you compare every other Travis Scott release out there, 
very quiet. Like nobody was really talking about these at all. Like, I mean, of course people were talking about it and going after them, but they came and went. Mochas came earlier this year. There was a little bit more hype, a little bit more gravity just going towards it. And these, when they came, it was just a quiet sailing. They came, they went, they dropped, and that's pretty much it. People always ask, you know, and say like, do you regret buying? Like this is something that I can't regret necessarily buying it because at the end of the day, if I want to get my money back, I can't. I did a regret buying list recently and everybody was like, there's all bricks on there. Well, if these were going for $200 and then they went on sale for 150, this is something I would regret. I really got these just to see how they was and get the review out for y'all. Unfortunately, I didn't get them in time to give you guys a review, but now that I have them, you know, they're cool. I can't regret getting them because I can get my money back full, probably and some along with it, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, man, these are amazing. I mean, they're clean. They're, they, they got their ways, but do I see myself actually rocking these in the long run? Probably not. And these might be something that I may end up just even giving away or down the road selling. It's just a hold for trade bay. It's not a really amazing Jordan 1 for me, in all honesty. However, I did want to talk about it. I did want to ask people their thoughts and opinions and just give uh, you know, my somewhat first impressions. Come with some white and black laces, black, or it's almost like an infrared type of lace system going on on the shoe as well. All black shoes are not bad, you know, but there's something about it in general that sometimes this doesn't sit well with me. And I honestly think one of the things that bothered me with this shoe is the white outlining throughout the whole entire shoe. Even though it gives it a pop and even though it makes it look good, but also on top of that, I think it's the black midsole. This same situation and same problem was also a problem with me when I had got the Jordan 1 black metallics. It was something that I love the upper of the shoe, but that all black midsole just bothered me. I wanted it to be a white midsole with a gold bottom. And even with these, I think if they were a white midsole with a black bottom like this, it would have been a little bit better. I just think these are like janitor jupers, man. Straight up. Straight up janitor jupers and to each his own, man. I don't know how much they're going for, nor do I care. You know, some people will sit here and think that I care about the resale value. I don't even know what the resale value of these are right now at this moment. And more so, I probably would just trade it for something that I actually really, really want. There's a couple of shoes that I actually really want right now. And one being the Penny One Orlando I've talked about. I'm pretty sure I can trade for those and get some money back for this shoe in general. So it might be something that I need to you know, check out down the road and look more into, if anything. I can honestly say these are probably one of the worst Travis Scott shoes to ever release. If you think I'm wrong, let me know what you think it is down below. Cause honestly, these are, it, look, he hasn't made that many bad shoes. So like, let's not even say, I'm not even gonna say it like that. Travis Scott hasn't really made bad shoes to even say bad, but when you have to say the word worse, you gotta give me the worst out of all the best. If everything is lovely, you still have to have, there's still gotta be a worse, be, a worse good shoe. You know, uh, everything is beautiful. What is the least beautiful shoe? You know, let's just put it that way box check it out this is the label for it as well i can definitely say that the presentation is spot on you know even in the little bandanas real nice real dandy but nothing that you can't just go buy at the 99 cent store and just throw into the shoes you know that's all that you know that's all that that was as far as the quality goes on this shoe though it does have like a rough suede going on on some of the shoe parts. The darker parts are more rougher, almost dried out suede material. There is then also the very soft new buck material going on that is more slightly faded as you can see on parts throughout the shoe. Nike Air on the tongue on both pairs here. Nike Air, Travis Scott and backwards. You got the little, is that a B? Can I be honest? I don't even know what this stands for. I know what that is though. That's Air Jordan on the back. I know what that, I know what that means. Don't focus on me, focus on the shoe. Yeah, that. I know what that means. I'm looking at these like, bro, these are just, mm, eh. But there's people out there willing to spend $600 for this bad boy right now. Also all blacked out, nothing special, but you know, it is what it is. There's nothing really much else to say about the shoe, man. It's just an all black Jordan 1 Low, Travis Scott. Something we've seen before, but it's all blacked out, outlining and all that, but you know, to each its own. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section though. Is this a sleep or keep? What do you do with this, a trade bait? Which I think I should do with this one, man. Let me know, because I, I don't know at this point, but I'll find out. I'm out. Peace.